What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Matrix21 back with another video. A new episode of Fresh Kicks. We're going over upcoming sneakers and give you all the release information and all the information I know about the sneaker. But before we get into it, make sure that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. Check out my X page at Matrix21 and my Etsy shop at TD Made It. Both the links are down below in the description. But enough of that, let's go. Let's get to the kicks. So today we have a four pack, the, the one piece Puma Suede collaboration. Four sneakers in this collab. And it's pretty cool stuff. So if you like One Piece, let's get right into it. So first part is breakdown. We break down overall. Look at the sneakers. They give you materials used, colors, and you know all that kind of stuff. So let's get right into it. So like I said, we have four different sneakers dropping here. All of them Puma suede. All of them the Yonko from uh, the current Yonko from One Piece right now. Blackbeard, Shanks, Buggy, and of course Monkey D. Luffy himself. Uh, four decent looking sneakers. I like them a lot. We're gonna break down all four of the sneakers. And I'm gonna talk about them, you know, individually. But here are all four of them. Like I said, they look pretty cool. So right now, which one of these is your favorite? Let me know down below in the comments. But it's time to go. We're gonna start off with Buggy. So here's Buggy and here's his sneaker, the Puma Suede, in a red and blue colorway, like a cell or off-white midsole. And it looks dope. It looks cool, man. Like I said, this it's bright and out there because they're red suede. But you know, I ain't gonna complain about it. I like it. It looks dope. Uh, obviously, the the side the the side puma thing swoosh thing is inspired by buggy's hair because you can kind of like the serrated serrated uh serrated edges on it <laughs> but it looks cool like i said the red is inspired by his cape as well so or his new body uh you know cape body whatever you want to call it but uh it looks pretty cool um like i said this is probably the most subtle i can say subtle but most basic looking of the sneakers and on the tongue you have his jolly rogers uh so i think it's cross gills jolly roger but uh, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty uh, okay. There's uh, also it's kind of like the whole white, the white also in the midsole is the same thing. And that's one, no difference, no gun bottom, nothing like that. But uh, like I said, it's a little bit closer look at it. That suede is on point. Looks really good, really clean. Moving on, we have the black beard uh, pair, Marshall D. Teach himself, and it's pretty much all black upper, and you have a little bit of yellow here and there, and then that, that sole is a little bit like a brownish black. But I like the way they did it, like a really really dark gum almost. But it looks dope. I like the way they did that. And um, on the tongue as well, you know, he has his Jolly Roger as well. But I love the way they did this one. The little hits on the back of the sneaker it look really dope. The yellow with the little hit of yellow gives it, you know, a little bit of a color pop, which is nice. And all of these have these hanging uh, medallions or one pieces, if you if you will. And it looked dope. Like I said, this is a, a, a more wearable pair, in my opinion, because be, with it being all black, uh, I like the way it looks. Uh, the outsole on this one is, uh, like I said, really dark and uh, kind of like a dark brown. It's kind of hard to tell from the picture, but, you know, we get them, we'll be able to tell a little bit better. And once again, like I said, they have Jolly Roger on it, on the tongue, and it just looks cool as well. A little bit of that maroon with the Puma logo on the back of the sneaker as well. But I like it. It's dope. It's cool. And it's clean. And me, it's probably the most wearable pair. Moving on, we have the, the we have red hair shake, shanks. And uh, this one is another one that looks pretty cool, cool as well. Subtle hits here on this one as well. And you have mostly like a dark maroon or red looking uh, for the uppers. A little bit of, uh, I think there's green on the side or with the swoosh. And there's uh, not the swoosh, the Puma logo. <laughs> I talk about Nike so much. And then on the back of the sneaker there, you have the three scars that you have going over his eye that, you know, Blackbeard gave to him. And it looks pretty cool. It look, looks pretty clean. I love the little hits going on inside of the sneaker as well. The little uh, indentions or... Uh, emboss uh, parts to it and it looks cool. Uh, I said another sneaker that looks dope. Uh, very wearable in my opinion, even though it's like that maroon color. You have to, it's going to be a little bit harder to wear than the black pair that you get from uh, Blackbeard. But you know, if you know how to do to wear them, you know what you're doing. Let's get a closer look at this the three scars on the back of the sneaker. And this is a really dope hit that they put on this. Not too in your face, but it's subtle and it's very, very shanks if you if you know about shanks. And moving on, last but not least, we have the Monkey D. The Monkey D. Luffy. Sorry about that pair. And these are all white, and it has clouds, and it, it's dope. The only difference between this one and the other one is all the other ones have the Jolly Roger on the tongue. This one has the his Nika uh, outline on the tongue on this one. So it's, I would have preferred probably his Jolly Roger, but they did go with Gear 5 Luffy for this one. So it's okay that they did that. So, so, so like I said, this one is nice. It's real subtle hits here and there i mean like i said the clouds are pretty cool if you know one piece you know what's going on here and uh i think that's pretty dope uh i'll definitely wouldn't mind adding this to the collection because it's a really clean sneaker that 
It really makes it, really does good. Once again, like I said, they have the Puma logo on the inside, a white uh, sock liner as well, white also. Uh, pretty basic on this with the colors. A little bit of hits of gray going around the place. And like I said, you can see those clouds uh, pretty clearly on this picture. So I like the way they did that. And I like the gold pieces that they add on all of them. So pretty dope. So moving on now, we move on to the release information for all 40 sneakers. It's all the same day, all the same price. So let's get right into it. So when are these be releasing? Uh, March 23rd, 2024, this weekend for on Puma.com and the Puma app for 85 bucks. 85 bucks ain't much. Like me personally, I probably won't go for all of these, but I'll definitely be going for at least one pair. And $85, you can spend that on a pair, this, this, this collaboration sneaker. It looks dope, it looks clean, all of them, and they all add their own little hit of uh, excellence, I guess. So if you missed out on any of the One Piece collabs that they've had in the past, I say you try to take a, take a look at this one this weekend. Like I say, 85 bucks isn't bad, and for any One Piece collector, I think adding this to your collection is worth it. So, like I said, Puma.com and the Puma app, March 23rd, 2024. And uh should be fairly hard to get these. I don't think they're going to sit. Definitely not going to sit. 85 bucks and it's one piece. Yeah, these ain't going to sit. So, if you want these, you better get up and try to get these. Uh, be woke. Be on time. Have the app, uh, everything loaded. Have your cards ready. Because uh, these are going to sell fast. Moving on, we move on to value or speculated value. So with the question of will these gain any value long term or in the immediate future, uh, I mean, it's pretty obvious. They're 85 bucks. It's one piece. They're going to sell out. Uh, they're pretty dope. They're going to gain a lot of value. Even right now, check right, online right now, like StockX, these are crazy valued right now. They're, this It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, definitely this Luffy pair, I think, will be the hot, hottest seller of the, of the bunch. And I think these will definitely be up in value. But... I wouldn't sleep on none of these four pair of sneakers. Like I said, if you want these, definitely get these and maybe try to double up if you can and uh, save them, sell them later if you want to sell them. But I think I, I just like these for my collection. So uh, I think definitely these will gain value. Definitely they won't sit. Definitely you should jump on them if you want to get them. So now let's move on to rock or stock. So when it comes to rocker stock with these, I think most people will be buying these to actually hold on to uh, as a collector's piece. And you have some people that will rock these, but I think most of it will be stock because, uh, like I said, it does have some kind of value to it. But most of it will be people just wanting to hold on to it and collect it. So uh, I think these will be some pretty dope sneakers that won't sit. And uh, like I said, most people, one piece collectors will be picking these up to hold on and collect them. Probably track it all for a pair. So. Definitely a really cool sneaker to actually add to your collection. So I really don't know if this is going to be a... Definitely not a pass. Definitely not a pass. But I don't know if most people are going to rock these. Like I said, they are out there as far as colors are concerned. But definitely a rock and a stock. Definitely not a pass. So if you want these, uh, definitely put the footwork in because they're not going to sit around. So now let's get to the recap and my final grade. So once again, these are set to release on March 23rd, 2024. Price tag is 85 bucks and it should be available on Puma.com and the Puma app. So if you don't have the Puma app, definitely download it now and get ready for it. I think it may be a draw, I'm not sure, but definitely get ready for it. These will be available in family sizes and current resale for it is pretty crazy. I don't expect their resale to stay that high, but I do expect it to be high. So if you want these, definitely try to get it for the 85. So if you, like I said, be ready, get the app ready, get your 85 bucks ready <laughs> and uh, see which ones you're going to go for. Me personally, I want to go for those black beards. I think those just the best ones out of the group, in my opinion. But uh, we'll see. Like I said, if you want these, definitely put that footwork in. You should be able to get them. All these are dope sneakers and uh, a lot of people are going to buy these just to collect them, which I think... Ain't nothing wrong with that. I like them, but I wouldn't mind putting these on feet. I'm going to give these a 7.5 out of 10. Not a super high score because I think it could be done a little bit better, but I do like the way they look. Uh, 7.5 is pretty cool, but like I said, the Blackbeard pair and probably the Luffy pair are my two favorites. But me personally, I want that Blackbeard pair, so I'll probably be going for that. So let me know in the comments what you think about these. Uh, will you be picking these up? And if you do, are you picking them up to collect them? Just have them in your collection or pass on them. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. But once again, let me, um, this is all I got for you on this one. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. This is your boy Matrix21. Peace. Talk to you all later. Bye.